And then it was, I don't know if I'm on or not. Hey Buffy. Hey Billy. I am trying to do let me put this in the middle. Um, Facebook has some kind of thing that a uh, live producer or something that they said, you know, try this out when you do the live this time. And so I'm doing that and I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I usually can see myself, but I can't see myself at all. So I'm, I'm guessing that that that's happening and I tried to do some kind of poll I don't know can y'all see a poll somewhere on there I don't know oh the giant metal bowl this well I like to say it's Andy's cereal bowl but it's actually just a, a bowl like you put drinks and stuff in for parties and, and that kind of thing but um, we just leave it sitting out just in case somebody wants to bring dr drinks over for a party I guess um, but yeah, Donna, my friend Donna got me that. Um, I love it. Um, so, hey everybody. Hey Wendy. Hey Whitney. Whitney, Wendy. Lida. Hey Holly. Um, so I had to stop doing the music at the beginning of these things because I'm also uh, putting them on YouTube. And apparently if you put music on YouTube without the express written consent of that uh singer you get in trouble so i got um two like warnings because i had uh music playing in in those so i guess rupaul and lizzo uh want some money or something but for all 12 people that watched it on youtube um so yeah no music to start these anymore and i i am flustered today because i'm my schedule's off and i pelotoned did my Peloton bike um, later than I normally did, so I'm still flustered from that. It usually takes me about three hours to get over doing that. Um, all right, and then I can't even find what I'm going to read tonight. Um, but it was another good day because I went to the grocery store for my parents, and the grocery store had toilet paper and you know my fear of running out of toilet paper so I bought some more today and I mean I've got so much toilet paper I'm one of the hoarders I am one of the hoarders and I wouldn't have be that way had people not started all this but because they have I can't not buy it when I see it but if anybody needs any I have a lot but I probably won't share it with you because I'm afraid of running out uh, okay but I might, I mean, I, I could share it with you if you were really out. Uh, one good thing that's happened from this um, crisis that we're in is uh, I've learned how, and my friends have learned how, to do the Zoom um, app, which lets you teleconference with people. And so last night, with my friends in... Um, Houston, Texas, and Knoxville, Tennessee, I was able to do a happy hour. So that was fun. And uh, you could see each other like the Brady Bunch. Uh, and we hung out and, and had fun. And uh, if you do it for free, which we do because we're not going to buy stuff, <laughs> um, you get 40 minutes. But we just, after 40 minutes, we just stopped and redid it again. And so, um, yeah, it was great. And so now that we know, I don't know why we haven't been doing that um, before. Let me see where uh, the thing is that I want to read tonight. Because um, I was thinking about all these people working from home. And um, I remembered that I have a story about working from home because I used to work from home for a very limited period of time. Uh, 
You would think I would know where this is. Okay, there it is. We're almost there. At least it's Saturday and you guys aren't on the time table of like waiting for me to do something or read to do, do something else. Because I'm not prepared. All right. So like I said, let me get a drink of wine because it's Saturday. Like I don't have this in each of my readings. So, like I said, I um, worked from home for a little while, and I started thinking about all the people right now who are working from home, um, not by choice, but for um, having to do it. So this is my, one of my experiences uh, working at the house. It's called Signed, Sealed, and Delivered. Work from home, they said. It'll be fun, they said. I always thought working from home would be wonderful. Setting my own schedule, wearing whatever I wanted in the office, basically doing anything I wanted whenever I wanted to do it. How much better could that get? So when the opportunity arose to work from home as a CPA during tax season, I jumped at the chance. At first, it was all those things I just mentioned and more. I enjoyed being able to roll out of bed, stagger to the coffee pot, and then get to work. The problem with working this way is I very often ended up in my office at 3.30 or 4 in the afternoon, unshowered, in my underwear, and unshaven. The only time I really had to look presentable was when I had to meet a client face-to-face, -face, and I could schedule those meetings in a nice block of time that would minimize having to wear pants. I will admit, I did miss having other people around to talk to during the day. When there's no one to help dissect the previous night's Project Runway episode or to share the latest YouTube videos with all afternoon, the office can get pretty boring. Don't even get me started on how bland the March Madness basketball uh, bra bracket office pool was for me. However, thanks to the internet, I was able to instant message my way through the tough times. The ability to completely disregard personal hygiene and office clothes outweighed having to have an office spouse any day. Living life on the edge like this finally caught up with me on a busy day near the tax filing deadline. I spent the day dressed in my red polka dot boxer shorts, a white t-shirt, and striped tube socks. I had my nose to the grindstone working on a very complicated return. When I heard the mailman outside, I slipped on my sneakers and ran out to the mailbox to make certain there was nothing in today's mail that would affect what I was working on. Absent-mindedly, I left the sneakers on when I returned back inside. Later that afternoon, I remembered I had some other tax returns that needed to be mailed in order to meet a deadline of that day. I looked at my watch and realized I only had 30 minutes to get to the post office before it closed. I rushed, got the returns together, grabbed my wallet, keys, phone, and headed out. I normally looked forward to running errands during this working from home period. Many days, this was the only time I saw actual live people from the outside world, leaving me to seek far too detailed conversations with the checkout girl at Kroger, the greeter man at Walmart, and the old lady in line behind me at the dry cleaners. This day, however, I was upset that I had forgotten about the returns and in no mood to go anywhere or participate in idle chit chat. When I arrived at the post office, there was of course a long line. I stood there for about 25 minutes rolling my eyes at people who could not get their business done at the counter in what I deemed a sufficient amount of time. When I was only two people away from being served, I looked down. That's when I realized that I had forgotten to put on actual clothes before leaving the house. I was standing in the post office line in my white t-shirt, red polka dot boxer shorts, striped tube socks, and sneakers. I had wondered why no one was standing too close to me or meeting my eyes when I tried to get their attention from that person is taking too much time in the line camaraderie. Now it was obvious. It was because I was a crazy person. I then faced the issue of what to do. I had waited so long in line and I was almost there. On the other hand, I was in my underwear in a federal building, which I was sure was some sort of felony. I decided finally that the IRS would not care what I was dressed in, or not dressed in for that matter, as long as I mailed the returns. 
So I waited, walked up to the counter, completed my business, pulled my boxer shorts out of my rump because they had ridden up, and proudly left the building, eyes straight forward. No police talk. Oh. Sorry, uh, Georgia just choked. <laughs> No police cars or federal agents followed me out or contacted me afterwards, although I'm likely now to be on some sort of list of potential troublemakers at federal buildings. I decided to go straight back to my office and reconsider my desire to work from home. I know what you're thinking, and it's true. I did prove myself as a dedicated tax preparer that day. But with no one back at the office to share this with, with what good did it do me? At least I did not wear bikini shorts or a thong that day. So that was my short story on um, working from home and the perils of working from home. And I hope that any of you who are having to work from home, um, you know, don't have that problem. Don't run out or make sure that you're dressed when you do. So um, that is my story for the night. And uh, I'm just kind of see if. I can see this live producer thing that's going on. Um, I had never heard of Zoom at all either, David, until this thing, but it's wonderful. We'll have to Zoom and, and chat. So uh, I don't know if the poll is working, but if it is, vote on what you'd like to hear me read. Because I, I was thinking that um, I could read stuff other than what was in my book, um, if some other like funny stories that other people have written, um, some of my favorite stories from other authors and books, so I could do that. Um, or I can just keep reading from this. Um, I don't, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, this is my favorite book. So um, I guess that's it for the night. You guys enjoy your Saturday night, and um, hopefully this warm weather will continue, and it'll help get rid of this virus that's keeping us all at home. So I'll talk to you soon and see you tomorrow. Happy Saturday.